Hey everyone, Adam Andrews with AeroWorks Productions. Today we're here with some exciting news from the FAA and that is the new online registration for UAS. Now we were aware of the hobbyist side of the online registration back in December, but the FAA just in this last week or two has now released online registration for commercial UAS, which means commercial operators who want to go out and fly their drones for hire now can avoid that long paper process, uh, which included the 8050-1 form and all the other business forms that go along with it, a 40 to 60 day wait to get the registration filed, can now register their UAS online the same way that hobbyists can in about five minutes for $5. Now there is one difference. The online registration is not going to issue you an N number and again, in North America, an N number, which stands for North America, is typically the aircraft registration for any aircraft in the United States. So every aircraft in the US starts with an N and then some type of unique number or letters after that. So up until the new online was released, every aircraft that wanted to operate commercially per the regulations had to have an N number, which meant following the, on, uh, excuse me, the paper process to get your in number and your registration. Now you can do that again in about five minutes. So we're gonna walk you through the steps to do it both as a hobbyist and as a commercial operator. Now, one note on that, I wanna clarify a couple things. We've been seeing a lot of chatter on the social media about the new online registration being good for commercial operators. That is true. What it does not eliminate is still the need for that section 333 which is what the, air, uh, the FAA requires you have to operate commercially. So don't think that the online registration in, in any way takes place of the exemption process, which is still in place. And we cover both the original in number registration, the section 333 application process on our uh, academy site. We'll put links down below for that. Uh, one thing, the in number process uh, you need that the online does not cover is if you ever are going to do any work outside of the US. So if you're somebody that travels a lot, maybe you go to Europe and you're gonna be shooting any films anywhere outside the US, you still need to have that in number because uh, that's the only number that's recognized outside the US as a registered aircraft. Right now, this new F number that they're creating is not reg uh, recognized outside of the US. So if you do plan on doing operations outside of the US, commercial work of any kind, I would still proceed with the paper process and again, we have uh, descriptions down and link below on how you can uh, follow that process to get your 8050-1 paper process submitted. But for right now, we'll go ahead and go into the computer and we'll look at how you not only register to create an account online, but then register either your hobbyist drone or your commercial drone. And the big difference between the two is on the hobbyist side, you're going to be issued a unique number to yourself that you can apply to all your aircraft. So if you have 10 drones, uh, you, you're gonna apply that same number to each drone, and that number is linked back to your name and address. So if one of those goes awry or you crash somewhere, they can take that number and find out who the owner is. On the commercial side, it's still an online process, but you're gonna be uh, issued a unique number for each aircraft in your inventory, they call it now. So when you go online, and we're gonna walk you through that here in just a second, you're going to create your login, your username, your company name, and then you're gonna start creating an, an inventory of aircraft, and that's basically make, model, serial number, a nickname, and then you'll be issued each uh, unique number for each aircraft, and it's $5 per aircraft. It's the same amount that the paper process that's been in place for many, many years costs, so there's no discount or it doesn't cost any more than the paper process but you will have to pay $5 for each aircraft, whereas on the hobbyist side, it's one fee for one unique number assigned to you that you can apply to all your aircraft. So that's the big difference between hobbyist registration and commercial UAS registration. So let's go ahead and jump inside and we will take a look at the online process and walk you through it. All right guys, the first thing you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to have to go to the FAA website and that registration website is registermyuas.faa.gov. 
And when you get there, if this is the first time you're getting here, you're going to have to actually create an account or register your name before you can register your aircraft. Now you can do that either by clicking the register button or you can go up uh, to new account, either one. Uh, once you do that, you're going to have to put in your name, your password, and you'll have to confirm your password and you'll do create account. Now after you do that, you'll receive an email from the FAA asking you to verify and confirm that you have set up this account. You're going to need to do that before your login will work. Um, but once you do that and get your email, uh, confirm the account, and then you'll be ready to move on to the next step. All right, guys. Now, once you've got that verification email from the FAA, you can come back to the Register My UAS site and go ahead and log in. You're going to do that up here in the upper right-hand corner. Once you log in with your registered email and password, you're going to have to read through some legal terms and things here. You'll have to agree to those. Make sure you're okay with that. And then once you do that, it will take you into one of two options. So let's log in here. All right, now once you log in, you now have two types of accounts that you can choose from. We have the model aircraft side, which is for non-commercial purposes. And we have the non-model aircraft side, which is for commercial purposes. This is for people who want to charge for their services. Now, this is a new uh, selection in here in that you used to have to do the paper process. Let's go ahead and click on the model aircraft side and show you the main basic difference, which we spoke about earlier in the video. On the model side, you really only need to put in your name and your physical address, and you'll be issued a unique number for one $5 registration fee. Now, that's pretty straightforward. You get one unique serial number, essentially. You can put it on all your aircraft. That number is registered to you in this address, and it applies to you. Now, let's take it back one level. We're going to go back to the commercial side because that's what most of you guys are interested in. When you click on the commercial side, you're going to have a few more options. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Now, not only are you going to have to fill out your applicant name, your title, and so on, but now they have the addition of the organization information and a physical and a mailing address. And once we enter all of this information, you'll notice here that it says that you're going to mark your aircraft with a unique registration number. And we'll go ahead and get this form filled out here. And then we'll jump back and uh, take a look at actually adding aircraft to our inventory. And you can go ahead and check mailing address is the same as the physical address if it is. You'll now notice that it takes us to your registered inventory. Now, if you have no inventory, you need to add a UAS. So we're going to go ahead and click that. We have a couple selections, home built or purchased. We're going to just select the common purchase one. Nickname is just something that maybe you want to give it a name so you know what all your aircraft are called. Manufacturer, in this case, we're going to use DJI. And we'll go ahead and do an Inspire 1 Pro. You're going to take the serial number off the aircraft and you're going to put that in the serial number section and you're going to hit add. Now we have now added one aircraft to our inventory. If we wanted to add more, we could continue to do that here until we were done. Once we're done, we'll go ahead and click the done button. You now have one aircraft in your inventory and you can see here that there's a $5 registration fee. If that's all you have, you're going to click next. You're going to read the disclaimer that you're going to operate uh, and you follow all the rules and you're going to say next. You're going to put in your credit card information, your billing address, say next, review everything, and then you're going to pay. And then what will pop up is your unique aircraft registration for each individual aircraft and the serial number that you added to your aircraft inventory. Uh, you'll get a little pocket card and you'll be able to make a label or write it on your aircraft, whatever you want to do. And you are now done with your aircraft registration. All right, guys. Now, I hope you found the video useful and uh, be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned. We've got a brand new drone vlog coming out soon. We're going to have some great interviews. We're going to be looking at some new products, drone news, FAA news, the whole works. Make sure you like and subscribe down below. Leave a comment. And if you have questions about the process or any of our videos, please send us an email. Let us know what you're looking for or what you wish you saw a little bit more of. And we'll do our best to make that for you. 
So thanks again. It's Adam with Arrowworks Productions, and we'll see you next time.